Take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow feelings of tension, stress or worry to leave your body in your outward breath. As you breathe in and breathe out, notice that with your eyes closed, you're able to go deeper and deeper relaxed. Give permission to your body to let go of any feelings of tension, any feelings of anxiety, and any feelings of despair. I want you to use the power of your imagination to make a picture of a desert island. I want you to imagine a tree that is growing on that desert island. And the tree has sunshine all the time. Blue skies and bright sun. And then I want you to imagine one day a storm comes. And in that storm, this tree that has only ever known the perfect weather suddenly gets blown under the wind. The roots upturn and the tree falls. And then I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine a very small tree growing in a different country with a different climate. Every day is windy. Every day or every week there are violent storms, thunder, lightning, gale force winds. Every now and then there might be a hurricane. And this tree is growing only knowing of this harsh weather conditions. And because of that, the roots have to go deeper into the soil. The trunk has to be even more robust and firm. It grows straight and strong. So even with the storms as it grows, the storms only make it stronger. And I want you to think of the storms in your life. Not as something that's made you weaker. But as something that's made you stronger. Too many people say. Well of course I have to be this way because of my childhood. Because of this thing that happened to me. Without realizing that. What if those things as unpleasant as they were, enabled you to be more resilient, enabled you to be more tenacious, enabled you to be stronger than you ever thought possible. I want you to imagine seeing yourself not as a victim in life, but as a survivor. Aren't the biggest heroes in any movie or book the people that dealt with the biggest adversities? The heroes, the heroines, are those that faced immeasurable challenges and still found a way to survive. And from this point forward, you are your hero, your heroine in your story. You've come through endless times where hope seemed lost. And it's only now when you look back that you realize that it's always darkest before the dawn. And then 
next time it's dark and you're in a place of despair, doesn't it stand to reason that this is just one of those one of those times where life is challenging you testing you to become even more tenacious even more resilient even more emotionally strong and it's worked up to now but I want you to think that it gets easier and easier the more challenges you overcome until something happens a breakthrough you create a new belief almost that it doesn't matter what life throws at you because you'll handle it and that doesn't mean you want bad things to happen you don't want struggles you don't want challenges you just accept that if the challenges come you're ready and you are ready life has prepared you for future challenges so you're not phased by them anymore every hero had a point in their life where they questioned whether they deserve to have this role every leader has had self-doubt every pioneer questioned their own intellect and abilities the early travelers that sailed across the globe questioned whether they would ever find new lands they just believed that they could handle the storms the setbacks feelings of elation but also feelings of despair and I want you to accept the suggestion that despair is simply a moment of opportunity for deep reflection despair can come from losing something or someone that you love despair can come from feeling that you've run out of options and there's no more choices but there's always one more choice and from this point forward your unconscious mind will start mining moments of despair from the past to find the nuggets of gold despair can be a gift a beautiful wonderful gift an opportunity to make the future version of you even more resilient even more powerful and strong but only if you have the strength to sit with despair and to listen to the lesson it's teaching I want you to take a new idea that you're strong enough that it's okay to have needs that death is inevitable but also nothing to be feared And that your resources exceed life's demands as you now return to the present feeling like the strongest tree in the forest feeling like a hero in your own story and feeling that you don't mind what life throws at you because now you're ready back in your body listening to my voice take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose just wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes get a sense that all parts here in the present 
as I now count from one to ten to awaken you, you will awaken fully alert, optimistic, and positive for the future. Starting to count. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake. Wide awake. Wide awake.